Hi all, uh, welcome to Sino Technologies. Uh, my name is Ranjan. Today in this video, we are going to discuss on uh, about the React JS. Let's go and discuss the use of React JS and what are the uh, things we provided by the what are we going to provide in this course and what is the use of React JS in real time. Okay. Before going into that, we will discuss why we are going and talking about all this React JS, Angular, and Vue. Okay. What is the use of all these things? Then we'll go and discuss about what is actually the use of React. Then before going that, we have to discuss what is React. So what is React? React. React is a UI library which is used to develop or render UI. Okay. Means what is the use of React? Means using React you can develop the UI and that UI is going to display on your browser. Means in using the React JS you can develop the UI. The question is what is a UI? UI stands for user interface. Okay. Let's go and discuss what is a user interface. The interface also known as screen. Okay. Let me go and discuss what is a screen. As you know, you are suppose you are using your mobile WhatsApp or Facebook or any of the application in your mobile. That the interface that the screen like whatsapp or facebook whatever you are using in your system that is called the interface means interface is a medium interface is a mechanism using that medium you can able to access any kind of application right means interface is a is a medium using that medium you can interact with any of the application but the question is how to develop this kind of interface example suppose you want to develop one whatsapp clone or you want to develop one facebook clone now the question is you want to develop both for mobile and both for desktop desktop means i'm talking about the browser now the question how you can go and develop the ui for your um, mobile as, as well as ui for your web to develop this kind of different different uh, web and mobile we call as a platform means you ui can be divided into multiple parts one part is one is suppose web ui another one is your mobile ui and maybe another one is your desktop ui and will be tv ui means you can see that this ui means web means i'm talking about the browser one UI means I'm talking about the browser one and mobile means you already you know the mobile application it may be Android or iOS and desktop UI means it may be um, window maybe Windows or Mac or Linux TV means it may be Android or Google TV or it may be suppose um, LG OS or it may be Amazon Fire Stick. What I am saying this all are like web, mobile, desktop, TV all are you can see that they have they have different different kind of structure to display the UI. This web, mobile, desktop, TV, we call as a platform or we call as a, we call as a platform or we call as a platform. Means this web, mobile, desktop, it means we are, if you going to develop, if you learn the React using React, you can develop both web UI, you can develop both mobile UI, also you can develop the desktop and TV UI. Now, but the question is how you can go and develop all these different different platform or different different uh, UI in using the React. 
okay now the question is ui means the user interface whatever interface you are using the user using whatever interface that is called the user ui but in this in this in our in this uh, course we are going to only focus on the web ui because the mobile desktop tv we are not going to focus only we are going to focus on the web ui okay let me tell what is the web ui as you know the ui the ui which which will render in a browser we call as web UI or web page or web application. You can call anything. Means you can see that if you open a browser, it may be Chrome, Edge, or any browser. If you open a browser and if you are going to display any kind of pages, suppose I have opened Synotech here. If you open the Synotech, you can see all these things, right? This thing, suppose you want to display, that is called a web application or web UI. Clear? What is the use of a web UI? Any UI you are going to open inside a browser. Render means display. Okay. If you want to display any browser, any application inside a browser, we call it as a web UI or web application. To develop a web application, okay. To develop a web application, we require certain programming language because for the web you require certain programming for mobile you require certain programming for different different platform we require different different kind of programming but in in this in in, in this course we are going to focus on web ui to develop any kind of web ui we require basic three programming language fine the first one will be the html second one will be the css and third one will be the javascript Since HTML, CSS, JavaScript is the basic requirement to develop any kind of web UI. Now the question, why this is required? Because your browser, you, you will take any example of a browser. It may be your Chrome, Firefox, Edge, any browser. The browser only knows three things. One is HTML, CSS and JavaScript. As like you, if you want to run any application in a browser, you have to first using these three things. Browser don't know any programming language. Browser don't know about your Java, .NET, and not nothing. No, he only knows about HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Let us go and discuss what is the use of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. You know, HTML is used. The full form of, of HTML is hypertext markup, markup language. HTML is used to design the website, design the web page. Means, suppose you want to design any, suppose you can see that our Synotech site, if you want to design this kind of site, that basic requirement you have to use HTML. HTML is used to design a site. Same as if you are going to use a CSS, CSS stands for cascading style set. CSS is used to coloring and styling the web page. Or styling the HTML you can see that suppose you want to make the background color as blue or suppose you want to make this color as red green or any color this type of coloring this type of bold italic and all this type of like styling if you want to apply to a HTML page you have to use the concept called CSS okay then what is the use of HTML HTML is used to design the page page means I'm talking about design the UI or design the HTML page. CSS is used to styling the page. Okay. Then what is the use of JavaScript? Okay. These two, this HTML and CSS actually used to actually de design the page. Whereas, in same time, the use of JavaScript is, JavaScript is the programming languages for the browser. Means, HTML, CSS is only used to display the data means display, render the UI but JavaScript is used to interact the UI okay what is the design the UI and interact the UI design means suppose suppose I can show you you have a quick contact here if I click quick contact it's opening and what happening we have a form here if I click on submit you can see that it displaying some red border here this designing this name, email, phone number, all these things, we have to use the HTML and CSS. But 
after clicking this button if you want to do any kind of logic you want to do any kind of validation to your html element to your html component then you have to use the concept called javascript okay if you know a little bit programming like c or java anything you know you know that programming language used to do the logical execution same as if you want to do any kind of browser programming execution browser side programming for your web page then you have to use the javascript means javascript is the programming language for the web web or you can see that browser the browser what i'm saying html css is basically used to design the page and styling the page whereas if you go for javascript javascript is the programming language where you can go and interact with all this designing okay because the html css are statical in nature means or whatever you're going to design that is going to display in the browser but if you want to do any kind of dynamic operation any kind of all this operation then you have to do the you have to use the concept called javascript now before going into all these things what is the use of react in term of html css javascript i want to say you how the web application work because if you know the web application work then we will go and discuss about what react giving us the benefit to work on the web ui okay let me draw something and explain how a web application works okay mean suppose you want to de design in the future as a developer suppose you want to develop any kind of web application what is the basic requirement you have to develop a web application okay because only design the ui it's not going to fulfill your requirement okay because you have to do lot of thing inside your application let me go and discuss what we are going to do just imagine to develop any kind of application any kind of application means almost all the application in nowadays in the market that is content that is content basic three concept what is the three concept the first one is the first one is ui the first one is ui okay so there are three basic component for to develop one application first one is ui ui you know you stand for user interface second one the second one will be the api the second one is the api part i will explain each and everything details let me first draw these things one is api and final third part is your database If you want to develop any kind of application, if you want to develop any kind of application, then your first thing will be that the application content basic these three things. One is UI, one is API, another is database. UI is the user interface. Actual the user is going to interact in this UI part. But this API and database, what is the use of that? We're going to discuss. As you know, UI is the part where the user actually going to interact. The same time, what is the use of API? Suppose you want to develop, suppose on click on submit, you want to store this information. Okay, on click of submit, whatever information you have to send, you click on submit, you want to get the data, then this data you need to store into your database. Why database? Because in the future you want to store the data you want to in the future you want to get the all the information okay in that case what happened you cannot store the ui data because as you know ui always run on the client machine what is client machine because i have opened this site in my system you can also open this system this information in your system if someone save the data because as a application owner i also require this data right for that reason i want to store this data in a centralized in a centralized server whereas i can access this data any point of time due to that ui is not enough to store the data because ui is only for the client the client is going to use the ui 
but for that we have to require the concept called database as you know if you know the concept database database is the storage mechanism where you can go and store any kind of data and based on the requirement also you are going to access the data the database is the part where are actually going to store the data but ui cannot interact direct to the database okay ui cannot interact direct to the database for that reason we need a communication medium that communication medium we call as api api stands for application programming interface means it's interface to the application means ui first what will happen ui will send the data to the api okay ui will going to send that to the api then api receive the data just example in this example suppose we have all this information if you click on submit what we are going to do first in the ui we will send the data to the api then api receive the data and after receive the data by the api api is going to send the data to the database it will going to send the data to the database after the data store into the database what will happen database database will say okay my data is got successfully saved for that reason what happen again database is going to send you the data going to send you the response you're going to send you the acknowledge that okay my data is got stored then after api receive that acknowledgement once the acknowledgement is saved by the api again api say again api going to again api going to share the same data to the ui okay is going to give the response to the ui what is the process ui is going to send the data to the api api is going to process the data and send the data to the database once database store the data then it is going to send the response to the api then api is going to send the same response to the ui you can see that if you develop any kind of application nowadays all the application content this basic these three things one is ui one is api one is database okay let me go and discuss how you can develop all this all this application suppose in future as a developer you want to develop an application this ui api database we are going to use in the application okay to develop a api we'll go to a ui later to develop a api you have to know the basic programming language like suppose you want to develop you suppose you know the java spring boot suppose you are you want to use the spring boot Just a second to use the java spring and suppose you want to use dotnet core or you have to use the node.js it's not you can use any program language based on the feasibility based on your knowledge you can use any of the program language but to develop a api okay we have to use the concept called you have to any program language that is a java spring spring boot or dotnet core or node.js the same way suppose you have to develop one database database you can develop in two ways either you can go for sql or you can go for no sql as you know sql example is the rdms relational database system these are the suppose suppose ms sql then oracle and a postgres etc these are the examples of sql same way the no sql are mongodb okay mongodb cosmos db etc you can see that if you want to develop a database based on a requirement you can choose either sql or no sql you know sql in the course you know that in the sql you will you know that ms sql oracle postgres mysql all are the relational database management system we call it rdms whereas if you are going to store the data as a no sql format means schema less format you can go for mongodb cosmos db etc okay means to develop a database you have to know either this or this language or you can also know the both language it will be good same way to develop the api to develop the api you have to know the java spring boot or dotnet core or node.js etc whatever based on the feasibility you have to know the concept 
the same way suppose you want to develop a ui as i told you have to know what you know you have to know you have to know html css and javascript okay html css and javascript these things but developing application from scratch using the html css javascript is that not that much easier that's what easier means you have to write lot of things from scratch for that reason there is a lot of ui library or ui framework available in the market using that library you can develop the ui okay using the html css javascript you can develop the all the ui but what we are suggesting instead of using the html css javascript direct to the application we can create a this ui using from different technology that technology are react or you can use the angular or you can use the view okay but what is the benefit of using react angular view all these things i'm going to discuss uh, in this video in this session but just I let you know if you want to develop any kind of UI, web UI, I'm talking about web UI, you have to use HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Now, as a developer, if you know this UI, API, or database, then it will call as a full stack developer. Okay, full stack developer. Okay. Means if you are going to work in any other organization, in that organization nowadays all are demand in the ui api and database as a developer you no need to only work about the ui you have to know both ui api and database these three things this one 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 on the platform we call as a stack that's the reason if you know the ui stack if you know the api stack if you know the database stack the combination of this three stack we call as a full full stack developer also known as this kind of thing suppose you are you are developing one application in that application you want to use react also you are using node and also using the mongodb this kind of developer we call as mean mean stack developer this type of developer we call as a mean stack developer okay what is mean stack developer m start for m start for mongo then e start for express then a sorry mon stack mon stack developer r start for react then n start for node okay if you learn both ui api and database using react node mongodb then this kind of developer we call as a modern stack developer if you know all these thing you are a full stack developer but if you are using this react node and mongodb we call as a mon stack developer M m start for mongodb it start for mongodb e start for express express js then r start for react js and n start for node.js okay means if you in this course we are going to provide all these things means we are going to go, going to provide the react then we're going to give you how we are going to interact with the api then we are going to provide how to interact with database all these things we are going to cover in this course okay and what we cover if you want to develop any kind of application in the future or what you are going to use you have to use this basic three stack one is ui stack another one is api stack another one is a database stack these three stacks are using different different programming language to develop the application this ui stack we call as a front end okay this is a front end and this api database we call as a back end okay this ui part we call as a front end front end and this api and database we call as the back end Okay, why this is front end and back end? If you are know, a lot are saying I am a front end developer, I am back end developer, because front end means this part, these tags actually used by the front user. User means the user who are going to use this application. This is the front end. Because always this layer, always this tags is the front to the user. But 
whatever the backend database is not whatever the api and database you are using that one is no one going to you no one knows what happened in the background that's the reason we call as this is the backend that's the reason suppose when you develop this ui this ui is the front end for you because you are going to interact when i click on the submit that time what happened to the database what happened to the api that is user don't know about that one and user don't want to know also that one that's the reason it's all about your backend okay now the question why i'm discussing all these thing in the case of react because if you know first the application architecture then you know why the react is used for now the developing the ui okay now you're clear about the ui api and database right what is the use of ui what is the use of api what is the use of database and what is the difference between front end and back end this back end means is always going to be run in the server there is no link to the any any of that there is no relations with the ui ui is only going to display the data when you want to interact that time only we have to require the back end one okay and the front end is the actual you actual the application where the user going to be interact now let's move to our initial stage as you told react is, is a ui library which is used to develop or render the ui and to develop any kind of application first the initial part is ui because if you don't if suppose just imagine you want to develop one application that application don't have a ui and you have written all the api database where the actual user is going to interact but because user don't have interface right user, user don't have a screen how they're going to consume all this data first our main priority always be the ui because without a ui user is not going to interact any of the application okay now to develop this ui as i told we have to use html css and javascript ui means i am focusing on the web ui only we have to use the html css and javascript but the things will be here now suppose you want to develop one application this is the application structure okay now the problem is nowadays all the application is mobile first approach what is mobile first approach means if you want to develop one one application suppose you want to develop any kind of application that application should be focused on the should be focused on the mobile first it will going to run your browser as well as it, it should be run on top of your mobile browser also okay as you know in the mobile browser there is a memory and there is a bandwidth issue okay what are happening suppose you are using an application that application if you run in top of the mobile you know the mobile has some limitation not limitation means i'm not saying all the limitation but there is some memory issue and there is some uh, bandwidth issue that's the reason what happening we want to develop a application in such a way that application is not going to consume more memory as well as not going to consume more bandwidth bandwidth means i'm talking about the network not going not going to use the more bandwidth of the mobile that's the reason there is a picture called the single page application we we'll go to we are going to focus in there now what happening there is a concept called single page application what is single page application i'm going to discuss what is the single page application short form called spa now nowadays you can see that all the people are saying i want to develop in single page application all the company requirement is single page application now the question what is the benefit of single page application but before going into single page application i have to tell you because this react this angular all are developed last 8 to 10 year back okay but before that what happening because web development is so long old right but before this single page application or before this react angular view is developed what was there if you know that one then you will compare with that application to the single page application okay basically nowadays a application is divided into two part okay one application divided into two part the two categories one is as i told a single page application i will discuss all this thing called as spa second one is the traditional application a traditional application first example if you open our synotex site 
okay if i open send to text side if i go to any of the link just example suppose i am going to new batch you can see that my entire page is loading again and again if i click any of the page if i click any of the link you can see that my entire page is loading again and again you can see one scenario same way i am opening react in this way i have opened the react site if i go to any of the link you can see that my if i click on any of the site at any of the link and see that my header this part is always constant only this part is going to reload based on my clicks i think you can pretty much know that what happening happening in this two site if you go to our synotech site if you click any of the link any of the link your entire page is loading again and again whereas if you go to the react js site and if you click any of the link okay if you click any of the link you can see that the header part is there only this content is loading based on my request you can see that what happening in here if i click any of the link my entire page is loading again my entire page is loading again whereas if i click on this react js any of the link what happening my this content area is loading based on my request this kind of application if you compare to this synotech application to react js application we called as the synotech application is a traditional application whereas the react js is a single page application okay now what 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 we are going to do more in single page application in single page application there is only one page whereas if you go to a traditional web application there is a multiple page okay now we'll ask okay if there is a multiple page then how the content is loading what is loading means if i go to tutorial also i i can able to see the data let i go let i go and discuss how the single page and this traditional web application works you can see that i have a image here okay i have a image here in the left hand side i am showing one single page application right hand side that is called a traditional web application in case of a traditional web application in case of a traditional web application what happen when you click any of the link example suppose i am going to click home about or anything in that case what happen if you click any of the link your entire page means your entire page is going to load inside this browser inside this application okay your entire page you click here you going to load the entire page if you click here if you going to click uh, here then what happening just a second if you click it here what happening we are going to load the entire page here but if you look if you if you go and look this application if you go and look into this uh, single page application you have a load one page first you have we have only one page but based on the request suppose you click on this docs or tutorial or any of the link what happening in this case is not going to load the entire page again to your site entire page not you again to not going to load entire page your application what happening only whatever is required suppose i require this document uh, document only this part is going to load here but in case of app, in traditional application if you click any of the link your entire application going to reload but in case of a single page application if you click any of the link any of the link means suppose you are going to click all this link what happening instead of loading the entire page again and again to the application whatever content i need to update that only is going to load inside the application that is called a single page application what happening you can see clearly see that in case of in case of a traditional application if you go and giving any request in that case your entire page is going to load in the inside your browser inside your mobile or in any places but in case of a single page application what happening we have to we have a enter page you have only one page going to be load then after that one page based on the request enter page is not going to load whatever content you have to change 
that content is going to display here that is the use of single page application now you will ask me a question what is the benefit of using this single page application as i told earlier just imagine in this diagram in this cases you suppose in synotech site you have a header and this this primary header secondary header as well as the footer is constant for all the pages suppose I, if i go to about or if i go to new batch you can see that my footer and my header and the secondary header is always constant but if i click on any of the link what happening i am going to the server and if i going to server what happening i am consuming the server memory as well as i am going to display the data in the ui same example as i told suppose you want to display something you are going to send the request send the request this is called request the server once the server is going to get the data we are getting the response but if you are going to send the request to the server the server is going to process the data processing something we require the memory right suppose you want to process something you require the memory and you are also going to consume the server memory and also suppose you want to do any kind of database operation also you want to do and consume the database server also just imagine for that case what happening if you have a common things in your application suppose header and this footer is common thing you you are going to load only one time that part means you are going to load all these things only one time as like this react what happening in once the react loaded is going to load this this top is only one time if you going to click this enter page what happening my this top section is always constant i am not going to load this part again and again only this part whatever is displaying to the user whatever going to be changed based on the link that is going to be load based on the request in this case what happening the processing memory for this header and this footer header and this footer all are not going to the server all the times so when you click any of the links that time this ui this ui is not going to the server and get again due to that we are not going to process this part but in case of synu technologies what happening if i click any of the link my entire page is going to reload again and again that's the reason it's going to consume the memory it's going to consume the bandwidth or network it's going to cost you to solve all this kind of issue there is a concept called single page application in single page application you are going to load one page first once the page is loaded then no need to load the entire page again and again but this is one of the benefit one is memory another one is your bandwidth apart from that what is another benefit suppose you suppose once you are menu loaded once you menu loaded you want to display this menu inside your page now what happen again you have to go to the api then get all the menu you know display here but once you are going to develop a single page application in that case you can share the data among the pages suppose you already get this menu suppose once a page loaded you get all this menu if you are to display this menu inside the application inside this content what you need to do you no need to go again to the database you no need to go again to call the api you can also use this data inside your application means what i am to trying say here if you are going to develop the single page application that single page application is going to do the data sharing means you can easily share any data inside one page to another page okay now you learn what is the use of single page application and what is the use of this traditional application how the single page application is giving the benefit in over to traditional web application but now the question is how to develop this kind of application okay uh, earlier ui as i told to develop a ui you require html css and javascript but as you know html css javascript is only you to render the ui and display the ui interact the ui but if you want to develop this kind of single page application you require a certain technology that technology is called the react Okay. to develop this single page application you require react react angular view there is a lot of things is there but in these things we are going to only discuss on the react means using the react using the react you can develop 
सिंगल पेज एप्लीकेशन फ्रॉम एसपीए ओके फर्स्ट थिंग विल बी यूजिंग रिएक्ट यू कैन डेवलप द यूआई बट फाइनली इफ यू आर गोइंग टू यूज द रिएक्ट देन यू कैन डेवलप ए सिंगल पेज एप्लीकेशन ओके व्हाट इज सिंगल पेज एप्लीकेशन आई ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन all these things we are going to discuss how to develop a single page application lot of thing is, is inside this react but you have to know that using the react you can develop a single page application now what you can other things you can develop suppose if you learn react you can develop fast the web application as you can develop web application as i told if you going to use the if you learn react you can develop web application that is the spa okay if you also learn the react you can develop the mobile application if you learn the uh, react you can develop the mobile application that is called react native if you are not interested in react mobile application development also if you learn the react the same thing same structure if you learn the react then you can develop the mobile application that is the react native application also the same way if you develop if you learn react also you can develop the desktop application in desktop application means suppose you have to run any kind of suppose you have to develop any kind of billing software suppose you want to develop any kind of accounting software in the desktop you can also develop using the react that application you can develop using the electron js electron js this is not part of our course but i'm just let you know that what you can achieve using this uh, using this react if you learn this react then you can also develop web application that that whatever going to cover in this course then you will learn about the mobile application use a react native means your native application you can develop third one also you can develop in desktop application okay that is the that is the beauty of a react once you learn react you can develop all these different different platform application but we'll go and discuss what we are going to develop in single page application okay before going that let me tell you what we are going to provide in this course okay in this course you can see that we, we have divided this entire uh, angle uh, entire this react into 15 different different topics the first one is react whatever discuss what is react and what is the use of react uh, difference between the single page and traditional web application then we'll go and discuss about how to install the uh, react and what is the use of react uh, how to create a react application then we'll discuss about folder structure of react a lot of things we're going to discuss then we have to learn basic of javascript because react is written top of the javascript we have to learn first javascript and basic of typescript then we'll go to the component part means how, what is the component what is the use of component because all these things are component based development single page application means it's a component based develop component based development that we are going to explain in later classes but just imagine what is the use of component then use of states and props then events uh, then the conditional bindings then the list the reference fragment forms router navigation hooks and this store management lot of things we are going to discuss but what we are going to do in this course we are not going to first going to start all these things what we'll do we'll create one small project we are going to create one small project suppose we are going to create an e-commerce application just example e-commerce application in that e-commerce application we will suppose e-commerce application means suppose let me open the flipkart just example flipkart is the one of the e-commerce application we are going to create the same application we are going to create the same type of application using the react in that case what will happen you know suppose you want to develop this ui suppose you want to develop this kind of structure you have, suppose you click on anything suppose you want to display something or you want to display data or something like that suppose you want to develop this kind of ui what we'll do we'll go and learn fast concept concept means first we'll learn about how to develop a component then once you learn about the component then we'll go and develop this ui side by side we'll go, go and develop we'll learn first one topics or we have to first learn one features of react then that features we are going to use inside the application then what will happen benefit of that way after completion of all these things after completion of all these component states pipe all these things you know that how we can use this concept of react inside the project means end of this project you can able to know that how to use each and every concept of react inside your application okay 
that is the all the things we are providing in this react course yeah thank you all